Hi my darlings, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name's Chrissy. I'm so pleased you could stop by. I'd love it if you would subscribe before you leave. To my OGs, don't forget to turn your notification bell on so YouTube can tell you every time I upload a video. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a midweek haul, so if you'd like to see what I've brought, please continue to watch. My darlings, I've put them all in this big box here. I've bought some different things as well this week. But right, first things first, I think I'm going to do my AliExpress. Now you know I'm just a bit of a, a hoarder regarding AliExpress and gems and everything. Uh, so I've got a lot of these gems that you put on your lids. So what I've done is, I'm just going to try and get in the middle without disturbing the camera there. I bought these little little pots i don't know whether i'll show you these actually so and i've just stuck which what color it is on the top and so these are like a teal color petrol color blue green uh, so i had some of the little little containers i should have in hindsight um brought them in a see-through or a plastic um i've brought some from amazon which i think i've shown you but i had double the quantity and it cost me half price than from amazon than aliexpress so i was quite pleased about that i think i had 20 um and it cost less than 12 or something like that i don't know it was really cheap though and then i've got to show you these because i am so so impressed and i will be buying more where are they i've got these first these are nails of course so there's i think uh, 120 in these so i had the purple I had the purple, I had the bright pink, black and light purple. I think these were around £3.50 for all of those, which that's a good buy. Obviously there is uh, all different variations of size as well, which is always good because everybody's got different uh, size fingernails. Still on the nail train. I looked at these and I thought, mm, shall I shall I? Because they're all on a strip. Now these are what I'm on about. They've got all different types of uh, medium sized uh, glitter. They come like this. And so you just break them off. They are, they've got like different sizes as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twelve different sizes. So they should be able to, in essence, fit everybody. I've got these as i said i think i had two lots of these and what all i've done is i've put some uh, glitter top coat on them just to seal them because they are they're quite flaky if you like it i mean there is a lot of glitter the purple color the black the pinky color peach lovely summer peachy color these are all in the glitter ones um a light blue a almost they like these but they're almost like got a very very slight pink tint to them blue red definite christmas vibes and gold now these were 80 something pence 80 something pence and you know what they are the strongest nails i've had on in a long time i've put these on and i've had them on five days already and they're just not touched they're not over long i didn't go for the super long because i can't do nothing with them but at least i can sort of get my um my sort of shimmer on with these on so they're not too long but they're so comfortable but 80 odd pounds i couldn't believe it so as you can see um i went a bit to tell these again are for the same company they're just a patterned lot so i had hearts pink uh, pink hearts these look to be a little bit longer they, they are so yeah these are super long so I have the pink 
I add a different type of pink with hearts on. You know, I like hearts. I like pink. Um, I heard these beauties. These are like, um, I don't know whether they're, they're leaves or flames, but they are beautiful. And something different. I went for blue. So they look like that sort of, it almost looks like um, a golfing tank top. So those are the blue. I've never tried these sort before. I've, I've thought they were always, always going to be rubbish, but these are definite Christmas ones. They've got like that Christmas, jump, Christmas jumper pattern to them. Then I've got some red ones with flowers and polka dots on them almost. Then some more pink hearts. These have got brown hearts on, not um, red. So those are another lot. Um, some more summer ones. Oh, they, these go with it, this top nicely. They're like a marble peach colour. Then some purple and pink I love these these are like a marble color too because they're just the marble marble uh, version of a different color and then the last one which is my favorite I love 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 cherry blossom so these were so beautiful and they are summer all in all in one I mean I will have to sort of cut the tips down on these because they are a little bit too long they're okay if you're going out on a night time and you want something looking really special but uh, for a day-to-day -day basis these are going to be too long of the uh, the sticky tabs in which is good if you don't want to use the the glue but i like mine to be secure i can never get on with the uh, the glue tabs so those are my nails i am so pleased i think i'm just gonna have to order some more i know what you're thinking i've got enough but you ever got them uh, but like that, with the uh, with the glitter ones they do need a top coat on just to seal that glitter next unicorn cosmetics last last saturday i think it was or friday they had for, for some reason i had an email saying they'd got um lashes on special price so I thought, oh, I'll have a look. I do love Unicorn Cosmetics uh, lashes. They're really long. They're easy to use. They always look pretty. £3 a pair. £3. Some of them are £10. But that was pretty much all £3. So I had, had 10 pairs. We might as well make it worth your while, haven't you? So let's have a little look at what I still have got. Two of the sweetie look at those how pretty are they some of them that haven't got the stickers on so i'm not actually sure what they are so that one is baby that's a nice sort of long fluttery lash but it's got a nice uh, sort of spacing in between them then i have Two of the Blossom, again, these are very fluttery, they're very full. They've got sort of groups of three or four as you're going round, so they look a little bit more fuller, sort of long and wispy. So I had two of the Blossom. Then I had some Darling, which are very, very fine. Again, fluttery, long. But they're a little bit more fine than the others. So those are darling. I'm not got a clue because then the, the stickers come off them. So these are a pair again. They're quite quite similar. They've got um sort of a graduated lash on these, so they're they're quite sort of uh, fluttery, but they've got different lengths in there. Can you see? I'm going to sneeze. These look like the Wispies Russian, if that's a thing, if I'm looking at it right. So they've got like a sort of decal 
on them so they're sort of really curled up I've got quite a few pairs of these now so I'm looking forward to seeing what these ones are like and then I have got uh, another of the um, Russian ones this one is Lash HQ again let me, let me just compare a little bit thicker than the last one so you've got more lashes on the band and then the last ones of Foxy Volume these are beautiful again they've got the decurled but they've also got those sort of clusters of three or four lashes so you've got a little bit of everything there but for three pound each the, you know I mean I couldn't believe it and I think I think the postage was only about one or two pound as well I do notice with these so they are very very reasonable on the uh, the postage so those are my unicorn absolute bargain right Morphe Morphe I haven't had for ages 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 the last thing I had was the um, Mickey collaboration the brushes from look fantastic because they was on for silly amounts but they'd got a sale on and then I had an email saying if you quote well I don't know what it was um I don't know I don't know what the code was but it was giving you an extra 40% off sale items which I thought oh I'll have a little look so I'm going to show you I'm going to have to pull my emails up because the the invoice doesn't tell you how much you pay for them I'll start with the little bits first we've got uh, the Bear Sizzle Metallic Eyeshadow Trio from in this little box of three so they look half a decent size but again you know what I think these just look like private label ones I swear I've got some of these from AliExpress or eBay from China I'm going to check in a minute um, these were £4.50 for three so let's have a little look at them see what they're like for them they're supposed to be 7 50 so those are the three shades they are very nice those so those ones are fair season ones are midnight heat i think i had this one just for the green color because i don't think i've got a dark green so those are the colors let's swatch them for you while i'm here so those are the six colours. So all in all that cost me seven pound for the six shades, which like I say it's not bad at all. Then I brought a nine my heart candy artistry palette. So this was three pounds sixty. Now you know where I bought them. Three pounds sixty. I do like a bargain, just like all of you lot do. So that is, it's just repeated on the actual palette itself, what's on the box. I'm liking these, they're not plastic, they are almost like a, a grease proof paper type of wax paper, which is a little bit better. Not sure how they're going to um, fare in the biodegradable uh, sort of line, but it's better than plastic. So is quite nice nine shades uh you've got literally pretty much nearly half and half you've got one more matte than shimmer which is good because we do like more mattes than shimmers if we're going to just use one palette and you know there's going to be a purple palette in here somewhere don't you there's just got to be because i can't be trusted so this one is the 9l loving days artistry palette so that's the box this is a plastic um casing more than the other one was a cardboard so that is the colors you know what it's okay it ain't too bad got nine shades in there and it was also got a mirror so for that sake three pounds sixty come on i'm not gonna pass that up no chance and the next i bought another two of the brush sets these are going to be for presents um 
They was £7.80. £7.80, that's even better price than I paid. I was raving on about it being uh, £11. To finish off my order, I bought the Mickey and Friends Truth Be Bonged Artistry Palace. Now, this was originally £15 and it was £9. So, it is a good price. Whether it's any good, I don't know. Let's have a little look together. That is replicated on the front of the palette. It's cardboard, there's no mirror, and those those are the shades. You know what? It ain't a lot to um, write home about. It really isn't. But you know what? This could be a really nice present as well. You've got a, like a row, row of greens, blues, purples, pinks, and oranges, and thrown in a white and a black. So, I mean, there is a lot of variations there you've got mats and shimmers as well so it is a nice little palette but for nine pound i didn't think it was too bad so that is my morphe order now i've done something that i never do i've never done i don't think and i was looking on our mrs sexy sausage sales page and this lady was selling um a natasha denona uh, and a few other bits and pieces so I thought oh shall I um, I wasn't 100% sure but I thought I'll have a look at it I'll have a look at some photos and that was really nice you know she looked well looked after them and so I thought I'm going to have that I won't, I won't go into the prices because that's a private thing but I've had the bargain and I've, I had my third parcel yesterday so you can imagine I've got a bit mad there's a few so buckle up grab a cup of tea and uh, let's get going uh, the, the first one I had was the love palette I've been looking at these for ages and as you know my husband usually buys me the Natasha Denona ones or something nice so I thought I'll save him some cash and I'll save some of mine at the same time so this is the palette as you can see it's barely been touched so it's beautiful so i'm getting a nice sort of selection of other brands brands that i wouldn't usually buy because they're expensive and then the last one i brought was this one i've, I've got some more coming actually never mind this one was one of the last ones I brought and that is the retro palette. I couldn't believe it when she was selling this. She said she was selling the retro palette. Look at that. Oh, that's just my colours all over. That is so pretty. Really, really pretty. And these, as, as you may well know, they're not cheap. So those are my Natasha Denona ones. I'm so happy about these. And eventually, at last... I had the Meet Me in the Underworld palettes. So we've all seen this, it's beautiful. Um, I've got uh, other ones apart from the brand new one. So I thought, I've always, I've always wanted to have a look at it, but like I say, it just wasn't the right time at the time to buy it. So that one I brought. Then I bought some Colourpop because if you know us in Britain, it's a nightmare to get Colourpop or you've got to wait for ages. So. I bought the Fade Into Hue palette. Like I say, you've mainly said, you've probably seen all these anyway, but that is just a, a typical matte and shimmer rainbow palette. Then we have got the So Jaded palette, which is quite an old one now. The Kathleen Knights. You've probably already seen them, but I will show them you. So that is the Kathleen Lights. There's a lot of pretty shades in there. I do like Colourpop's formulation. It's just that a pain in the backside for um, releasing new things every week. I mean, it's the same as Revolution, really. 
but at least with Revolution, you know, you can pick what you want and you, you can have it immediately. And then sticking with Colourpop, I looked at this and I didn't get it and then I wished I had and then it was sold out and it is the Hocus Pocus palette. So I'm really pleased about this one. Gather round sisters. Look at this beauty. I'm going to enjoy looking at that one. So like I say, some of the things aren't available anymore, which, you know, there's no chance I'm going to be able to get them new. So, you know, I mean, as you can see, she looks after the palettes like I do. Sticking with Colourpop, one last one, and that is the Star Wars palette. This I had because it was just to help the different colour story to what I've got. So that is the colour story of that one. I'm liking those greens. It's a tiny little palette. Then um, we have got the Norvena palette, which I've always sort of looked at and never went for. And then when my husband bought me the is it volume five, the purple one, I thought, well, I don't need it. But when I saw this, mm, it's got to be mine. Then we have the Melt She's in Parties palette. I haven't tried Melt at all, so I am looking forward to playing with this. This is very, very similar colour story to another couple that I've bought. But beautiful. Then we've got Dominique Cosmetics and this is the Latte 2 palette. I've not tried Dominique Cosmetics at all. So, lovely packaging. And these actually remind me of the Thirsty palette. Probably nothing like it actually. I've not seen the Thirsty palette in such a long time. But that is... A nice feeling. Oh, nice, nice. So I haven't tried Dominique Cosmetics, so I thought it's a really good way to try them without sort of breaking the bank. Then we have, this is, this is the final two palettes for now. So I have the Huda, Huda Beauty Re uh, Mercury Retrograde, which I've, been, I've had this in my basket so many times and then put it back because I didn't want to pay 50 odd pound for it. So this is the colour story. So it is my first try of Huda eyeshadows as well. So I'm looking forward to playing with that. Then we have the Naughty palette. It's one with that weird thing in. So that is my palettes. And because she's such a lovely lady, she put me some freebies in as well. Um, she put me this is the Beauty by Pride. Uh, wear it with wear it with Pride Paris uh, liquid eyeshadows. So you've got five colours in here. Now, look at all those beauties. We like in those. These never get old. I've actually got quite a collection of, um, of their eyeshadows now. Their liquid eyeshadows. And she put in the Utopia palette as well. I couldn't get this. I went to get it and I was just too late and I didn't stock, restock it again after. So this is the Water Activated Liners. So there's some really nice bright colours there. I've just noticed that I've brought some more out. Uh, so I might think about having those maybe. Um, I've got a large P. Louise base. Um, I did try the Duo Drops in the Black Friday sale and I like them. And these, this 
pack as they the guy in and out my basket in and out my basket and I was sitting 36 pounds that was sort of half price do I want to pay that but I'm glad I didn't know and these are them they are beautiful they're a nice size as well so I don't know whether you're going to be able to see the beauty of them oh you may do so you've got those two Then these two, they look beautiful. I can keep them out of the uh, out of the box now I've shown them you. Oh, she put me in. Look, I've actually got this on today. It is stunning. Oh, I just couldn't believe it. When she said she was going to put this in, she's put the extra, the Jacqueline Hill extra loose highlighter in for me. What? A beautiful generous lady so thank you so much Anne Marie I really do appreciate it and what about what else have I bought I bought the Anastasia sultry palette um, some pastel roses shimmers because I haven't tried those yet and oh the Alyssa Edwards as well so I'm waiting for those to come so I am looking forward to that and I think that is my little little haul for this week I know I've bought some more gems but like I said I have repotted them uh, if anybody wants some gems please let me know because now I've got thousands and I don't know what to do with them so let me know if you're interested in having a little taste of my gems uh, my darlings if you have enjoyed my little haul don't forget to leave me a thumbs up that would be amazing and if you haven't already and you do like the look of my channel please consider subscribing i will be back in a few days i would love it if you would join me until then please take care of yourselves and stay safe i love you loads bye